Should you or should you not vaccinate your chickens? And if you're to vaccinate, what should you vaccinate your chickens against? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be answering this very polarizing question. And if you're to vaccinate your birds, I'm going to be sharing with you the vaccination schedule that you should be using. So please stick around. Welcome back to Farm Up. My name is Daniel and I'm very passionate about poultry farming. And on this channel, I talk to you guys about poultry farming in all the different aspects. So if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you never miss out on anything. And YouTube likes it when you hit that like button. So I like it too. So please don't forget to smash that like button. Now vaccination in general is a very polarizing topic. Not only in animals. In human beings too. I've seen a lot of guys commenting in the comments section asking me why do you vaccinate your birds? You're very bad, you're brutal, it's not natural, God didn't create us with vaccines, what? All that kind of stuff. But I think it helps that I'm a medical doctor. That way I understand how vaccines work. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible for you guys so you understand the whole essence of vaccines. Then I'll also be giving you what I recommend. So first of all, what is a vaccine? Well, a vaccine is a very small dose of a disease. So ideally vaccinating is giving a very small dose of the microorganisms that cause that particular disease to the bird or to the human being, to the animal, whatever it is, so that it develops immunity against that organism. Let's take an example for malaria in human beings. This will be very easy for you guys to understand. Us who live in Uganda and I believe in a lot of parts of Africa never really suffer from very very severe forms of malaria why because growing up we get mosquitoes biting us and because of that we get you know small bits of malaria in our bodies so the body gets to develop antibodies and cells that are able to fight off this malaria but when people from like europe or north america come to uganda they usually have to take anti-malarial drugs you know it's called prophylaxis to try and keep the organism away because if they ever get malaria they're going to suffer from the very severe forms of malaria because they haven't been exposed to it at all. Their body doesn't have any antibodies or anything to try and fight against the disease. So it's the same story for animals. Ideally, giving the animals this small vaccine kind of like trained soldiers for the chickens for times when they'll actually be battled. For times when that particular disease comes around, the bodies of the chickens will be able to respond very easily and very quickly. Now, do vaccines always work? The answer is no. Why? Because number one, there are different strains of diseases. Um, an example, in Newcastle, we really have one deadly strain. So when you vaccinate against Newcastle disease, the birds are really safe if you're going to be using a safe vaccine. But there are some diseases like um, fall typhoid. It's called by Salmonella. That's a bacteria. It has very, very many strains. So usually what they do is that they give the vaccine of the strain which is the most common strain yeah but your birds could be attacked by a strain which is not the most common strain but it's also deadly so you'll have your birds die and then um, you complain hey i already vaccinated but well it, it already helped because the most common strains have been vaccinated against the other thing it's not uncommon especially in africa okay in uganda to get fake vaccines on the market you know you'll just go to a shop somewhere and buy a vaccine and the vaccine is fake so i advise that if you're going to be buying a vaccine you should go to someone who is certified a vet someone who you're sure will be giving you a safe and functioning vaccine then the other thing the immunity also wears off just like us in human beings you know if you're going to be taking certain vaccines let's say hepatitis you need to be given booster doses things like tetanus toxoid you need to be given booster doses because the immunity wears off after some time so for some vaccines the immunity might wear off for the chickens and later on they might be able to catch the disease now must you vaccinate your birds well it depends on a number of factors i have friends for example i have a friend in the u.s he told me they never vaccinate their birds i found that intriguing that would be suicide in uganda never vaccinate newcastle disease it can sweep your entire flock okay and then I have a friend in Belize, I think. He told me they vaccinate against only two diseases. Yeah, Here in Uganda, very many. And I'll be explaining why. So one of the factors, uh, it depends on where you are. Yeah, There are different rules and regulation governing places, depending on where you are. 
in particular countries if you're raising commercial birds you must give particular vaccines yeah so some of those vaccines will be given in the in the hatchery before you get the birds and then there are some countries who are not supposed to vaccinate broilers because they're going to be slaughtered and most vaccines take between 15 to around 40 days to be cleared from the body so they don't want human beings to be consuming vaccines now the other thing and probably the most important it depends on the disease profile of the area where you are in africa and well in uganda most households have chickens what does that mean poultry diseases are endemic in the area what does endemic mean you know they are common and present in the area they live in the area so diseases are going to just be everywhere if you have wild birds coming in like here it's very common for me to have wild birds in and then when i look around there are a lot of chickens i can see all around we even keep chickens which are free range chickens so they can move you know go to neighbors and all those kinds of people they can carry diseases so they'll bring diseases back home so if you if, if you're in such a society it's it would be suicide for you to not vaccinate now what you need to know is that vaccination is not a cure what am i trying to say vaccines should never ever be given to sick birds why because when a bird is sick its immunity is already weak it's its body is very weak, it's not strong. So you exposing it even to the very non-lethal doses of a vaccine could actually lead to the chickens getting sick. And then again, vaccination is not a substitute for, you know, biosecurity, common sense, and, you know, everyday hygiene. Don't keep your place dirty, leave houseflies coming all around, not wash your hands, not practice biosecurity, you know, getting a, a place, a food bath for you to dip in your gumboots simply because you've vaccinated your birds. No, the chickens are going to get sick, they're going to die, and you're going to lose out. Now, vaccination is very good because it provides what we call herd immunity. What is herd immunity? Herd immunity means your entire flock. For example, I have my birds here. They're around 750, 760 in number. When I vaccinate, not all of them consume the vaccine, yeah? Probably 80% of them will get the vaccine. But because a very big percentage of them are vaccinated, the entire population is safe against the disease. So now I'm going to put up the vaccination schedule on the screen for the different kinds of birds. But what you need to know is that this vaccination schedule will work for mainly East and Central Africa and probably Sub-Saharan Africa and other tropical areas where the diseases we have over here are prevalent in those areas. So this is it. The best advice I give you is to get the vaccination schedule from your local vet because your local vet understands the disease profile of your area and would be better at advising you on what to vaccinate and what to not vaccinate. And then the other thing, which is probably the better option, get the vaccination schedule from the supplier of the birds, from the hatchery. Yeah. Usually when they are supplying the birds, they will give you a vaccination schedule. But that's for more established breeders. If the breeder is probably a small breeder and, you know, they won't have a vaccination schedule. So you can use the ones that I've put up on the screen. Now, how are birds vaccinated? There are very many different ways birds can be vaccinated. You know, there are eye drops, there are nose drops, there are mouth drops. You know, they can get injections into the skin, injections into the muscle, stabs into the wing. Some of them, they just spray into the room. For example, Merex vaccine, which is given inside the the hatchery and then some are given inside drinking water which is probably the easiest now should you be the one to vaccinate your own bird well it depends yeah some vaccines are quite easy to administer for example newcastle disease uh it's usually given in drinking water so that you can do yourself but some of them require you to have gotten some bit of training because they are more technical you know you have to give it under the skin or into a particular muscle or into a particular wing so you need to make sure that you've been trained in order for you to do that. But it's not very hard. It can be learned. So now, should you vaccinate your birds? Well, considering all the information I've given you, you should be able to decide. It shouldn't be hard, okay? If you're in Uganda or Kenya, Tanzania, areas around, I advise you to vaccinate your birds. Don't even think about not vaccinating because the law says can be very terrible. If you're in other areas, find out from your local officials. They should be able to advise you very well on what to do. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You guys, you guys are awesome, yeah? You watch my videos from all over the world, from India, from the Philippines, from Kenya, from South Africa, the US, everyone in the Caribbean. Thanks guys for watching. You guys mean so much to me. And in case you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. 
I try my best to, you know, read as many as possible and I'll be making videos answering some of them, yeah? It's quite hard for me to answer all the questions because there are so many and, you know, I can't respond to everyone, but I'll try my best to do so. But what you need to know is that I read all your comments. So please, if you have any question, leave it in the comment section. Again, thanks for watching. I love you guys a lot. Mwah! And catch you guys in the next video. See you.